Today we are talking about barb chaining, specifically what commanders you should be using. And this is something I actually literally just changed my mind about when looking at the different commanders you're able to use. Typically, what I have been using in KVK is using Richard with Zhu Liang and using the support skills of hitting barbarians. And as good as that is, it is very slow killing barbarians. You can still get, you know, really, really good reports and still get tons and tons and tons of rewards, but it is just so slow. It takes you so long. Richard is super, super slow. His skill cycle is slow. He does not do any damage. And so it, it just takes a long time. And that's one thing I've heard a lot of people complain about when it comes to Richard is that when you use him for barb chaining, it just takes forever because like I said, he marches slow. His skill cycle is slow. He doesn't do any damage. And especially with my Richard, my Richard is 4111. <laughs> so he is especially not doing really any damage whatsoever. I don't get the full healing factor. The whole thing kind of just sucks. And, you know, I'm very, I'm not going to put any gold heads into him to, you know, increase his healing bonus, anything like that. Uh, you know, I, I wish he was uh, higher than 4111, but definitely not worth putting more heads into him because he is still usable. But, one thing that I want to talk about, huge shout out to King Ebbs in 1079. He actually wasn't even trying to really share this. He just sent a picture of his chain. I'll show you guys here. So again, huge shout out to King Ebbs, but he sent this picture just showing off his chain, which is awesome. He chained like what, 20 barbarians here with one cost of AP. And if you look, he is using Zuge primary, Richard secondary. And when I saw this, I was like, huh, why is he using Richard secondary and using Zuj primary? And so I went in game and I tried to investigate why you'd want to run with a Zuj primary. And so obviously the first thing I did was take a look at his skills again. And one thing that you really want to look at is if he contains only archer units, he deals 20% more skill damage and has a chance to gain 50% attack which is pretty huge. That skill damage is enormous. And then also, he has tons of health. He has extra damage factor. Obviously, huge AoE. And, you know, he just has a ton of punch. But that's not the only thing. He's an archer, versatility, and skill commander. So what does that mean? It means that he's obviously primarily an archer commander, but also he has an insane skill cycle. He is a rage engine. So what I did is I went into the talents. And... If you look here, I actually went in the versatilities tree. And the reason why is because I don't use Zij Liang for open field. I had this completely empty. I had no formation on him. I had nothing on Zij Liang. And so I was able to build my own skill tree and try it out. The first thing I looked at was the versatility tree and I looked into insight. This is going to reduce the cost of AP by 10 per attack. Doesn't sound like a lot but that is quite a bit over time. If you're looking at an entire KVK of chaining, if I look at my honor right now, or even like some of the top people in honor. So Catherine right here, if she's not chaining, I, I've seen her five marching most of the time. She's just spending down all of her AP. But if she were to be chaining, this is 36,000 barbarians essentially, because you know, barbarians are gonna be between 10 and 20 points. So let's say it's like, 30 25 to 30,000 barbarians if, if she were to get this all from barbarians which a majority is probably from barbarians but say 25,000 we'll, we'll go a little bit lower 25,000 barbarians if you add that 10 extra ap to every single barbarian that's saving 250,000 ap think about how absurd that is if i look at my ap that is literally about 25 percent of my total AP that I would be saving. That is crazy. And so when you when you really take a look at how important reducing the AP cost is, when you look at your barbarian fighting commanders, ones that have peacekeeping trees, if you look, everyone's going to have insight because you obviously want to have it. The only thing I wish that Zuch had was a peacekeeping tree because A, you'd get the Trophy Hunter, and B, you'd get Curing Chant, which would be absolutely insane to, to get on, 
you know, your, your chaining march. And, you know, it, when I'm, when I'm outside of KVK, I'm using Lohar to chain because Lohar has both those. He has insight, he has trophy hunter, and he has carrying chant. Plus he already has his healing factor every time he leaves combat. And so when you're looking at Zuch Liang as a primary commander for killing barbarians, not only does he have insight to reduce the amount of AP you're using to kill barbarians, but like I said before, he is a complete rage engine. He has a skill tree. You can get rejuvenate. You can get feral nature. You can reduce the amount of damage you're taking. You can increase the amount of skill damage you're dealing. And so this is really just, you know, absolutely the best you could do when it comes to finding a tree for killing barbarians and not just killing barbarians, but also AOE chaining. And so now if we take a look, I don't want to steal this guy's because uh, he is, of course, coming right when I'm <laughs> recording this video. But we'll come over here. We'll show you guys exactly how fast this skill cycle lasts. And before we do that, actually, I want to show you one more thing you need to do is go into your commander view and make sure you change Zuge to your ranger. It'll increase your damage to barbarians by 5%, which doesn't sound like a lot, but that is quite a bit. So if we send out my Zuge, we switch over to a Richard secondary. We want to make sure we have all archers. And for me especially, I don't get any benefit from having all infantry because it's 5% attack and 5% defense, or it's 20% extra skill damage for having all archers. So going all archers. And then the skills that we want, if you are in Heroic Anthem, is going to be YSG for the extra 100 rage, and then also Minamoto for 50% more damage to barbarians. So now we can go ahead, we can send this out. And then one thing while he is marching, I want to show you is the armaments that I chose. I actually went for armaments that dealt more damage to barbarians. I didn't go for stats. I, as you can see, I have like no archer stats. I went for damage to barbarians because that is going to help me defeat these barbarians faster, stay alive longer and move on faster. I also have brutal, I have striker and I have elite for the inscriptions. But if you come right back out here, so I will show you exactly how fast his skill cycle is and it is like let me tell you it is night and day between Zuge primary and Richard primary and I know that because I've been using Richard primary this entire time I I've basically always used Richard as the primary commander we'll get on uh, alliance territory so we can march a little bit faster we'll actually go on the other side maybe be able to aggravate the 52 barbarian we'll see We'll start with the 50 since he's going to be walking away a little bit. And so watch how fast his skill cycle is here. Like, seriously. And watch how fast this goes. Especially when you get surrounded. Like, you are just firing off skills like crazy. Like, this is probably, I would say, this is probably about 25% faster of a skill cycle than when you have Richard primary. Like by the time Richard uses his skill, he's already 75% rage. Like honestly, it's on the verge of killing the barbarians too fast. <laughs> Which is just like, that's crazy to think about. Ooh, is I gonna kill it? Oh man, that was close. I'd rather kill the 52 barbarian anyway. That kind of sucked, but... I'd rather get the level 52 Barbarian, some more honor, potentially more rewards there as well. But, like, this is just crazy uh, how much faster this skill is, and you do still stay alive because you're getting the healing from Richard, and obviously you're, you're not going to die with a Richard secondary, right? And so this is something I wish I would have started doing sooner. Again, huge shout out to King Ebbs for, you know, accidentally giving me this video idea because... <laughs> I honestly have never even thought about using uh, Zhu Liang as a primary. And if we actually go take a look at YSG, because that's I know one that's one thing people are going to ask about is can I use YSG for this as well? And you definitely could. YSG still has the skill and archer tree. You can still do that, but you won't be able to get the reduced AP cost because he has the garrison tree, not the versatility or peacekeeping tree. But you could still consider using YSG primary just to get the faster active skill cycle and also be able to load your rage a lot faster. 
And then one thing when it comes to gear that we want to focus on as well, you can see my Archer gear isn't even that great. Like if I compare that to the gear I was running on my Richard, this is what I had on my Richard, which is substantially better than what I have on my Zij Liang. And the one thing that's important though, is having a ring and a horn. You want to make sure you are dealing more damage and accumulating more rage. This is going to help you stay alive longer, finish the barbarians faster, and really just, you know, have a better chaining experience, you know? So that's one thing that I wish I would have started doing sooner is not using Richard primary, but using Zhu Liang primary to, you know, just complete these uh, AOE chainings a lot faster and just do a lot more damage because it's just going to make it so much faster dealing so much more damage and getting your skill cycles to fire off so much more rapidly to kill these barbarians off rather than just waiting for your Richard. I, I was watching uh, TV last night and I was, just, you know, chaining basically half chaining essentially like I'd watch for a couple minutes like, oh, I can move my march and chain a little bit longer and then wouldn't really like I wasn't really really trying to chain i was just kind of doing it passively but this is one way that you can actually just complete chaining way faster and be a lot more optimized with your time and just be able to chain more barbarians which is awesome in kvk because you're going to get more honor you're going to get way more rewards and just the speed ups alone are definitely going to be worth it i've been spending down my speed ups like every time i get them for training bastions because i actually did just finish up basically all the support skills i'm only missing uh, the last one here on Nebu, which I'm pretty close. I already have a training quest there, which is pretty nice. Um, that's one thing I've been really lucky with is training bastions because I've been able to get a lot of Kahar's whistles, which, you know, as you guys know, built a lot of crystals. So hopefully be able to get this last skill that I can afford for now onto Called Arms 2 for the 22% unit capacity for the next ruins fight, which is going to be very, very soon. I believe that's actually tonight. Uh, so hopefully we'll get a good fight there. But like I said before, if you guys are looking for a faster skill cycle and being able to kill barbarians faster and more efficiently, using Zhuge Liang primary is actually really, really solid. And, you know, Richard Zhuge is still great. You can still do really, really good with that. But this is obviously going to be just one step further on how much faster you can chain barbarians. The only thing you have to be careful with is killing those barbarians too fast. So if you guys enjoyed the video, do me a favor, drop a like and subscribe. Again, huge shout out to King Ebbs for giving this video idea. And thank you again for checking out the video. Have a great rest of your day.